Uh, let's hope. Let's hope. Let's pray that everything goes well. I'm doing my hair. I'm braiding my hair. So the next time you see me in a video, maybe not the next time, but maybe two more times, I'm gonna have my braids, my gold and silver braids. My hair is long enough. So you can see I'm already making them up. You know? Again, the road to abundance is self-love, self-care. I gotta, I gotta buy some moisturizers, some cream. This allergy that I've developed dries your skin. It dries you up. It does. So I, have, you know, I put olive oil, little honey. But I haven't done that yet. Today I'm going to go and look at the new place. Let's see if I will be able to afford it plus all the expenses that I have because I got a flight for a conference I was invited to uh, in uh, Portland. There are a few days. Oh, okay. Let me start over because again, the retrograde. Uh, Uh, we love you all. Thank you. I love you more. It's been tough. It's, it's been tough. And, and it's, you know, I can feel it trying to wear me down and wear me out. But I'm not letting it. I may look dogged out, spent. You all know me. I bounce back and I gotta show you I gotta show you what I go through because many of you are probably going through the same thing and how to bounce back never let your enemies see you sweat well sometimes you do have to let them see you sweat so they can think that they're winning and then you turn it around and they'll be, oh, he's still there, he's still alive, he's still active. I love doing that. I'm a lot tougher than people gave me credit for. And I love that about myself. Well, it's because I love myself. It's why I'm always winning. Yes, I might lose a few battles. But I definitely won the war. Because in here, I've already won the war. It's all a mind thing here. I stop having my cocktails. I stop having my frappuccinos. Because the sugar, at this point, doesn't serve me, it dries me up more. Unless I'm having wine and drying all constantly drink water. Constantly drink water. Sagittarius, we're gonna start with you. Sagittarius. And to have Sagittarius means that your solar and lunar eclipse falls on your, let's see, I always have to figure out the wheel. Gemini. Taurus. The fifth house. The fifth house. And let me tell you, Sag. 
they really do come for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, they come for you. You have so many enemies, like Scorpio and Virgo. They want me to use the... the Egyptian tarot. Because again, this is a past life dynamic. It's like a vendetta, a vendetta against you and against your family. And again, the lunar eclipse eclipse that from you people are jealous of your energy your creativity that's the fifth house your ability to reinvent yourself procreate and brush off any obstacles and let me tell you you get plenty of obstacles and plenty of drama but you have found a way brush it off let's see what's going on this, this, these cars are weird they're just weird they have two different faces uh-huh the eight of swords but Saz, oh I see this is not supposed to be in here but Sab, you have awoken to something. Sometimes, like Libra, you can be oop, oop, doo, doo, and not be aware of what's going on. I mean, it's cute. It's cute. And even with the stuff that you've been through and been put through, you still take things with a grain of salt. You do. And there's somebody here that is mad about that. Just mad about it. With the solar eclipse illuminating your first house, if you are lacking or being depleted in energy, that's going to come back. That's going to be restored. Yeah, somebody was stealing from you, your own family. And I don't think this is something that you would have um, found out on your own. Had you not gone through the obstacles, the oppositions, and adversities that just came out of the blue towards you. So much contempt against you, hatred even, and you, you, you didn't know why. Because it's what was happening behind the scenes, even with your own family, it was dark and, and unspeakable. That if I were you, I wouldn't believe it. And from your ex lovers and frenemies. Someone was stealing from you in more ways than one. And this is going to be illuminated. And because it's the first house of creativity, somebody was harvesting your energy like an energy vampire. Saj, I don't think you un even understand what that is. But you do now. You have to. Because this is just being illuminated in your solar fifth house. The fifth house rules children and childlike energy, the solar plexus. Somebody wanted to kill your childlike spirit or take it from you. Yeah? The eight of swords. Somebody wanted to confuse you and seduce you to have sex with you. Because energy swipe is real. They're taking your energy. 
that would have taken your essence. Eight of Swords. And with the Seven of Swords that preceded it in the reverse, someone was caught doing this to you. So the cat's out of the bag. <laughs> if you were feeling weak, tired, and a little depressed, you know, not yourself, Sagittarian energy, is because there was someone in the background, in the background, creating an, an energetic cord to pull your energy, to feed off your energy, so they can manifest off your energy. This is what people are trying to do to me. And many, 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 many have tried. There's a movie, and I know I mentioned it before, The Dark Crystal from the 1980s. It's an animated, like a puppet kind of thing. Laser beam and completely suck his energy to the point where he could grow old and prune, and the guy will get strong and powerful. It's a movie, but it's very real. You should watch it, The Dark Crystal. And, and that movie focuses on energy harvesting and energy vampirism. All of you should, should watch that movie because that is still happening today. Here we go again. This has to do with some kind of relationship, some kind of partnership. A partnership that's going to really benefit you. Uh, romantically, over time though, it just doesn't, love doesn't happen overnight. But also financially. Somehow, your partner, and I don't even think many of you are even interested in finding somebody. I know I'm not, but it comes out in my reading all the time. This relationship, this partnership that's coming, and it's not just business, it's romantic. But in that, there is tremendous wealth. So either you are attracting a very, very, very wealthy person to you that wants to be with you and will do anything for you. And, you know, it, it, it can change your life. Somebody was trying to stop this. Somebody was trying to stop this. But they won't anymore. Touch. Happy. To have Capricorn on the ascending is to have uh, air in your solar fourth house, the home, family, foundation, and, and because it's the fourth house, your immediate past life, capital. So I have to put these cards away. And go back to Nefertiti, which, of course, reigned in a particular period. And this is where your enemies come from. True for most of you. Not all of you. There's someone here very jealous of you. Very jealous of you. I mean, it's beyond obsession. Like Virgo. You got some very dangerous people, Capricorn. They also want to harvest your energy. But they also want what you got. This is very different from jealousy. This is envy. And envy is far more dangerous than jealousy.
Think of single white female. The talented Mr. Ripley. That's envy. And the person eventually ended up killing these people for their identity. This is what's happened to me as well. Someone is deeply envious and still trying to take me out. Good luck with that. Capricorn. The solar force house and the lunar eclipse. So here uh, is talking about an inheritance that was stolen from you. Uh, huge, I mean land, and there's always a home, there's a house that keeps coming up. Not just in your read, but in other reads too. Someone stole something, and they wrote you out the will too. I mean, someone really did you dirty, Capricorn. They did you dirty. And you're going to find out who is behind this. With the solar eclipse illuminated in the fourth house. The lunar eclipse hit what was happening. And this was happening for years. Years. The solar eclipse is not going to illuminate that once and for all. But there's always, there's always a price to pay. This solar eclipse has me a little nervous. Did you hear that there was another earthquake? Two earthquakes in one week. One in Thailand, which almost devastated that country and Taiwan. So I was right. Mother Nature is waking up. And with, there were many solar eclipses that we've had. None of them caused a disruption of nature. But this one is. These were two major earthquakes in two countries decimating one country. Uh, I didn't want to call it. I didn't want to call it. But here it is. So now we got to think about it. I am available for readings now and, and birth charts. I'm going to do the uh, uh, tarot reading from for that person who paid 150 I never heard from them. I'm going to do a code and do their reading live. And the uh, 365, I'm going to put that interpretation. Uh, if I get the email and send them their videos and put it to the Zoom until they show up. I'm still trying to find out who these people are. You know, cash up is terrible that way. See, I like Zell because you got the information, the phone number, the person. With cash app, I may have the uh, chat name, but not the real name, and then no phone number to reach the person. And if they c call me, it doesn't show up at all. So, but see, that's the Mercury retrograde. It does shit like that. And then you'll be looking bad, like you ain't doing your work, you know? That's all part of it. Thank God that when one gets terms of service, when I send the chart, it, it's for a year, so that, that covers me. Because sometimes people don't uh, call me right away, even though they pay. Capricorn, what are you to expect? Yeah, this is victory and success. It's in the reverse. Now, this can mean two things. Your enemies did not obtain victory and success over stopping you. But they did slow and delay something that is meant to you at the same time. And I got to tell you, Captain. It's a family member or a group of family members.
Uh huh. Look at that shit. Again. It's about a relationship. It's about a relationship. In the reverse. So this applies to you, Capricorn. Somebody was successful in blocking this to come to you. Yeah. I mean, call a spade a spade. They succeed. They, you did not succeed in getting this. Capricorn. I'm talking to the collector. There's no victory here, though, for neither party. Because the enemy didn't get the benefit that they thought they were going to get. And this is only a delay. Because what's promised to you by the creator, you're going to get it. But here it is. It's about a relationship that your family members don't want to see you succeed in obtaining. Because this is going to make you a very, very wealthy man through this partner. And that means that you won't take care of them. This is what this is about. It's about money and about uh, fear that you won't take care of these people. Yes, they are fighting you and even attempted murder. Somebody here try to kill you. I mean, really take you out. But it's in the reverse. It didn't work out. You're highly protected, Capricorn. Remember that. And watch patiently. Do nothing. Just sit and let the truth illuminate itself to you. Aquarius. Your third house is illuminated. Your solar third house, communication. So some message, some communication has been blocked and with the solar eclipse it will be revealed with what this communication is. It's not made clear what this is. Yeah. It's a sibling, a sibling from your past life that won't let you go. Or it could be a uh, uh, light sibling. And Hates you. Hates you. This hatred is not based on this lifetime at all. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. In the reverse. Coming down next to your brother. This will be set. Blocking your money. Blocking your money. Very, very jealous. And I don't think for many of you, maybe not all of you, you you, you I don't think you realize that this is either a sibling or someone very, very close to you that you consider and love as a sibling. Unfortunately, Aquarius, this could bring you a tower. Because I don't think you see it coming. I don't think you see it coming. And, oh, it'll catch you by surprise. So be ready for it, Aquarius. Oh. 
But this is your card. The star. There's the symbol Ra over your head. And the stars in constellations. You are highly protected. You are going to overcome this. And this sibling or friend or cousin dear to you it's gonna perish and you're gonna see it this is the tower coming towards you Aquarius psychologically prepare for it because even in this read I don't think you really are fully back in believing that this is happening. But it will. It is. Pisces. Your solar and lunar eclipse falls in your second house of money. Income. <laughs> Fuck it. Like many of you, someone's been fucking with your finances. And being relentless, relentless about it to slow you down. Mm -hmm. You know that gorgeous woman called me? She did. She called me. I was ecstatic. And I guess the universe gave me that. And they're like, doesn't matter how you look, all dried up, pruned up, all tired with it, you're still attractive. And we will send to you any woman or dude that you desire. And they will desire you. I'm like, oh my God, I better do something. I gotta do something, you know, get myself back together. Oh, but she was scary. Her beauty was scary, scary. And dream it too. <laughs> this is why I can't completely go the other way. Mm -mm. Can't. It's not the same. Oh yeah, Pisces. Try to steal from you. And the kids too. Be careful who you are associating yourself with. Energetic cords and, and energy harvest. Oh no, Pisces. And Pisces, you kind of know who it is, too. You know who it is. You, you kind of know who it is. But see, see, Pisces, you're not that much different from, Lib from Libra. Oop, 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 oop. Act like you don't know and like you don't really see what is in front of you. Oh, Pisces. What are we going to do with you? What are we going to do with you? The Ace of Swords, the Owl. You know, you have a powerful powerful ancestor that comes as an owl or a falcon. I can't think of a higher protection than that, other than the eagle. But you are being very protected. Very protected here. Very protected. So whoever is trying to do this, they're not going to get away with doing it for much longer, Pisces. 
please donate. Please give. 281-690-8825. Zelly. Or catch up. Fernando. F-E-R-N-A. Number 5. N-D-O. Really appreciate it and thank you so much. There's a cycle here that's not closed. But you are the one being called to close it. Because you are in psychological awareness of what's going on, Pisces. You just have to act. Move! Oh, this is going to keep you in a perpetual cycle. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will be back. Uh, because I got to give you the occult downloads with some illustration and also continue the series on Mercury. Uh, we're up to Mercury in the fifth house. I still got copycats here stealing my content and trying to imitate me. That's why I slowed down the astrological information because there's someone, three people here that are taking the content, rewriting it, and putting it in another platform to make money. Oh, and, and my administrative staff were quite vigilant, quite vigilant of that. And then of course we got YouTube um, taking down all of my Bible codes, which means I am forced to put them on Patreon. Right. Guys, I hope this helps somebody.